Welcome, friends and family, to the Fairchild Wheeler 2018 Commencement Ceremony. Welcome to our graduates, and to start off our program, we would like to invite salutatorians Marie Fries, Christopher John, and Angelo Rodriguez to the microphone up front to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. This one here. The double one. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the national anthem led by Haley Rosado. The Fairchild Wheeler campus would like to extend a special welcome to our city and school officials in attendance. Please rise when your name is called. Mayor Joe Gannam, Superintendent of Bridgeport Schools, Dr. Aresta Johnson. <laughs> Chairperson John Weldon. <laughs> Vice Chairperson Hernan Illingworth. <laughs> Secretary Jessica Martinez. Sybil Allen, Denise, Dennis Bradley, Maria Pereira, Joseph Sokolovic, Chris, Chris Taylor, Ben Walker, the Fairchild Wheeler administrative team, Thank you. <laughs> we would like to welcome Mayor Joe Ganim to deliver his address to the graduates. So, this is graduation day. 
for all of you, before we go any further, to thank all those that have helped make today happen. To you, the graduating class of 2018, a round of applause on a job well done. Before I briefly share some thoughts with you, I also want to thank all those that are here on stage, those that can't be here at this time on stage, but who have participated from our superintendent to our board of education to all of the administrators and teachers, all who have made this school year a success and this graduation day a reality for all of you. Will you join me again in a round of applause for them? And as I say last, but certainly not least, as I look over my shoulder to the left and see the Kennedy Stadium bleachers continue to fill up with family and friends and supporters who have been there with you throughout all of this. Turn, look at them, give them a round of applause as we say thank you to your families. And I know as, as you mark this day, one of those and hopefully a lifetime of great accomplishments and successes. They, I'm sure, may even be holding back their own emotions about how proud they are of each of you for your accomplishments. Look, individually or collectively as a class, the class of 2018, this is your day. This is your year where you leave behind uh, but take with you at the same time so much of an education that will hopefully prepare you for whatever it is that you decide to do in this great world of ours. With all the challenges, and there'll be many, uh, successes certainly, and I'm sure road bu uh, r r bumps in the road. But with all of that, we, as we look here and your families look upon you, we, uh, just to add burden to your shoulders, expect, and I'm sure we'll see great things from all of you. We say that not just to give you a, a kind of enthusiastic word of, a, of encouragement, but selfishly, whether it's here in Bridgeport or elsewhere in Connecticut, in the United States, or wherever you decide your path in life takes you, whatever your role, responsibility, your challenges, or your vision is for yourselves, we really do not only have the greatest hope of your success, but the highest expectations for you to succeed. And we only ask, at least I do, as one who has, I think, had some degree of success, but certainly had my own challenges in, in life, that you set whatever those goals are for yourselves and collectively for you as this class of 2018, as high as you can, because we need you, all of you at the top, to take on the role of leadership, to continue to do what I hope we've tried to do in some small way make this city, this state, this country, and this world a little better place for the next generation. Thank you. With Godspeed, go out and do it. Congratulations again, class of 2018. Thank you, Mayor Gannon, for your words. Now, please join me in welcoming Dr. Aresta Johnson to the stage for her greetings for our commencement. Good afternoon, parents, families, friends, teachers, and staff, and most importantly, good afternoon to the Fairchild Wheeler Campus Class of 2018. We have witnessed your brilliance, perseverance, grit, and determination towards excellence. Remember, Horace Mann, <laughs> I love those beach balls, I have to tell you. <laughs> Education is a great equalizer of opportunity. Once you attain it, it is yours forever and can never be taken away. It has the power to unlock doors which would otherwise remain closed. It is the key to opportunity, success, and knowledge beyond your wildest imagination. Your success validates that each of you seated here today have received an outstanding quality education from the teachers and support staff. Your triumphant journey confirms and speaks volumes to the commitment and support of your parents and extended families who made it their business to walk alongside each of you during this journey. 
Lastly, in the words of Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, who's the author of This Child Will Be Great, if your dreams don't scare you, they're simply not big enough. So I charge you to be bold, be courageous, and continue to take risks. We love you and best wishes for a lifetime of greatness. Congratulations. Congratulations speeches this, um, this afternoon. So my name is Jessica Alvarado and I'm an English teacher here in the Aerospace School. <laughs> However, for our graduates here, I am their Aeroschool mom, a title that I never thought I would develop after our first two graduating classes. We only had freshmen and sophomores that first year we opened the building and we were a tight-knit family. And that second year, you all came along and the real high school experience began. You were our first real freshman class. <laughs> the normal high school hierarchy began and you knew sadly that you weren't one of the originals, but you were. You all were the last class to know what it felt like to not be a full school. You are most certainly part of our history. Class of 2018, you're the end of our original saga. Now, I always have mixed feelings when we talk about movie trilogies because most audiences usually feel that there's always that one that they can live without. Kind of like a Star Wars Phantom Menace complex. You know, thank you, George Lucas, for telling us the origin story, but we all could have lived without Jaja Jar Binks. But I digress. For those brief moments during your underclassmen years, I delusionally thought I would not be your school mom. I know, crazy to think now, but it's the truth. You are certainly a class I could not live without. For us in Arrow, I have especially loved how we all started the morning check-ins in my room. You would have thought this was part of your assigned class schedules for how faithful some of you were to this protocol. You know, we had Kenny to come and visit from the top floor of IT to go to the top floor of Arrow to go back to the top floor of IT and make it to class on time. You know, we had Joey who would rename me on every one of his papers for ECE English. We would have Dan who would come and visit me every first lunch week. You guys were very faithful with your visits. Um, but that's what family's about. And you are part of our Fairchild family. It's about caring for one another. You were told four years ago that by choosing to come to Fairchild that you were going to have this unique experience. But little did you all know that it was you all that were going to create this experience for all of us. I want to thank you for making me your school mom here in Arrow. Your class will always have a special place in my heart because of the things you allowed me to accomplish being your teacher. From my own weight loss to my last college degree, I don't know if I could have come this far without all of you and without your support. Thank you for reminding me how to smile and laugh my English 12s this semester were especially good at that. Remember, life goes on too quickly, especially when you forget to enjoy it. The hardest part of being a teacher is that you're given a group of students that you're expected to take care of and to just let them back into the world, as if nothing happened. But I'm always happy that you've left me with such incredible memories. And my final piece of advice, as your school mom and arrow, includes the immortal final words from Mr. Feeney in From Boy Meets World. Believe in yourselves. Dream. Try. Do good. Thank you. Now please welcome Dr. Michael Watson, Principal of Biotechnology, Research, and Zoological Sciences. Good afternoon. Uh, welcome, Dr. Johnson, Mayor Ganim, all district board members, administrators, family, friends, and but of course, 
Fairchild Wheeler Class of 2018. Now, before I begin my speech, everyone, please take a look to your right and say a good round of applause to the staff that have gotten you to this point as well. While thinking of what to say over the past few days, many common phrases we hear all of the time came to mind. These idioms or cliches or some other English terminology are just overlooked, but there are some that have true meaning behind them, and I would like to share four of them with you. Haste makes waste. Take one day at a time. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And curiosity killed the cat. Benjamin Franklin's Haste Makes Waste tells us that rushing to finish and not making all scenario, taking all scenarios into consideration may make us rush to a decision that we may regret later. Take time to consider all scenarios and different outcomes, seek advice from those that you value, and then make an educated decision. More than likely, you'll have the right decision for yourself. Take one day at a time. While we're trying to juggle many obstacles and tasks at the same time, worrying about what is to come and needs to be accomplished in the future will cause us more worry and stress. Deal with what is in front of you today and everything will fall into place. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Everyone has been told by this by someone in their life. If a person had quit after their first or second attempt, we would not have had many things that we have today. For example, Thomas Edison is credited with saying, I haven't failed, I just found 10,000 reasons that didn't work. Because of that, we have the incandescent light bulb that is now also fluorescence and now to LEDs. Another person who is also quoted often is Helen Keller. However, if it wasn't for the persistence of Annie Sullivan, Helen Keller, a blind, deaf, mute child, would never have learned to communicate and become a well-known author. Lastly, curiosity killed the cat. Now most people think that's the complete phrase, but the complete phrase is the curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought him back. Always be curious and innovative. Many of the items and inventions that we see and use in our lifetime would not have happened if people weren't curious or had dreams. My grandfather never thought someone would land on the moon, and let alone we have an international space station where many people from different countries and cultures are living in space. There are many other innovations that have been developed and making something else obsolete. Keep your curiosity and follow your dreams as you may be the next person who develops the next best thing. That satisfaction will also keep you looking forward for new and innovative ideas. You have worked hard to get to where you are today. You have had many people that have helped you got here today, but at the same time, you have made a positive impact on many people in your life as well. I am proud of all of you. Please keep moving forward. Pace yourselves and do not rush through life as it passes by too quickly. Go forward with open eyes. Never stop dreaming. And last but not least, congratulations to all of you on the accomplishments that you have to this point. I wish you nothing but the best in your future. Congratulations. Hello. Um, we don't have to clap each time. Um, so we just want to remind everyone that this event is being live streamed. So for those of you in the audience who maybe didn't have family members who can make it today, it is being live streamed so they can check out the Bridgeport Public Schools website. So heads up. Also, uh, next we welcome Dr. Victor Black, Principal of Information Technology and Software Engineering. Good evening, everyone. Uh, to our distinguished guests, uh, board members, Dr. Johnson, um, our teachers, our central office staff, fellow administrators, um, welcome, class of 2018, welcome. 
Um, parents, I have to say, um, at this point, I can uh, faithfully say your kids know what's next. Um, we have uh, preached to them, we have guided them, we have stressed them out as we promised, and now they're fully ready to lead the world. And I'm going to tell you why. In no small part, this class has enabled the schools at Fairchild Wheeler to be recognized as distinguished schools and schools of excellence by Magnet Schools of America and the state of Connecticut. These very kids made that happen. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, go ahead and make this world a distinguished place. Uh, make this world a place of excellence. You did it at Fairchild Wheeler, and I look forward to you doing it for the rest of this world. Congratulations and enjoy today. Please welcome Aerospace Valedictorian Victoria Basulich. obviously, was a time for learning more than anything else. Naturally, there were the primary educational aspects of such an institution and the value of the experiences we gained here from just being alive in this time and place. Still, even more than that, high school was about figuring out who we really were when we came here, growing through and pushing aside all the misunderstandings we had of ourselves and of all the things we didn't know about anything really, about ourselves, about each other, about the way the world works. Here, we were pushed to every limit we probably had, and far past them, if I'm really being honest, to learn what we were and weren't capable of. I mean, if nothing else, we have uh, our attempts and capstone is proof of that. It hasn't been easy, but it's been worth it, because we're here despite everything. High school is an inherently educational experience, yes, but not just about things like science and writing and everything else, though those subjects certainly have value. After all, I know none of us will ever forget our experiences together in wonderful classes like Mrs. Alvarado's are all the things we built in our engineering courses. Still, this was a life period with relatively fewer responsibilities, even if we did not go through these years unburdened, which gave us the time and space to figure out who we really were and who we wanted to become. Hmm. High school is also a period of sacrifices, one way or another. It's change, after all, and change inevitably requires sacrifices of opportunities, of parts of ourselves, of things we wanted versus things we needed and more. Sometimes the sacrifices were ones we were willing to make, and sometimes they were forced upon us. There is no avoiding it, though, because time carries along with it everyone, and that means trading out who we used to be with who we are now and coming to terms with that. As this period of our lives draws to its conclusion, I hope that if nothing else, our collective experiences here have helped us gain better perspective on who we really want to be and how much we're willing to do to get there. Thank you, everyone, for everything we have taught each other and for everything we've learned to survive here together. Thank you, Victoria. I'd like to welcome up Miriam DeBose, the valedictorian of the Biotechnology Research High School. security line at 7.40 a.m., <laughs> a smiling teacher on the first day of freshman year, and wind turbines glimmering in the sun on a bright spring morning. High school does look like getting your license and going to prom and endless sheets of loose leaf paper notes. <laughs> High school looks a lot like the first F on a test and staying up till 3 a.m. to finish that science fair poster. My high school experience was probably different from those who attended a normal public school. But to me, normal became lab coats, pants that aren't jeans, <laughs> and desks that are shaped like triangles. Normal 
is staying long hours after school to extract cricket hemolymph, or skinning a shark, of course, for science. Normal is a mesh of different people from different towns coming together and making it work. We're pretty good at building each other up in a world that seems like it's tearing each other down. We can solve problems in the fields of biotechnology, aerospace engineering, and information technology, but we have also become pretty good at discussing issues that stretch far beyond 840 Old Town Road. The Fairchild Wheeler, the Fairchild Wheeler campus has a long way to go, but it's truly astounding how far we've come. Friends, family, and faculty, thank you for gathering today to celebrate the class of 2018. Class of 2018, look around, take it in, we made it. Thank you to my family for cheering me on, but always keeping me grounded. Thank you to my closest friends, the boys, <laughs> for your infinite support. Miss Clue, thank you for believing in me when I did not believe in myself. You push your students to be the best they can, and I know you're going to be an amazing doctor one day. The University of Michigan is lucky to have you. Thank you, Ms. Everett, for helping myself and many other seniors de-stress. You reminded me of my love for the arts. I look around and see the faces that make a building more than a building. They make our school a home. I think today really comes down to one basic concept. Hard work does pay off. Sure, there were some 10-page essays, dreaded calculus tests, and capstone tasks I thought would never end. But they did. And I learned that those long nights always gave way to new days. And I learned that mistakes, yes, mistakes, are the greatest gift of all. Countless people within this community have taught me about the importance of loving what I learn. The love of learning is by far the most valuable thing I will take with me after today. For everyone graduating today and everyone watching their peers move on, don't wait. We can't wait to put our best foot forward. Don't be afraid to change things up. And don't wait for someone else to make things happen for you. Use the abundance of resources this school has to offer and don't take anyone or anything for granted. I can confidently say that this class will go on to do big things. Congratulations on all that you've already accomplished. I'd like to leave you today with something written by a Fairchild Wheeler favorite, Mr. Correa. <laughs> he has been influential to me and countless other students. Here is just one of the many wise things that he's shared with me over the past few years. High school is hard. College is hard. Grad school is hard. But when the camera zooms out, these experiences will be just a small part of the frame. Make sure the rest is filled with laughter, things that fulfill you, and people you love. Thank you. At this time, please help me welcome Kenneth Wright, valedictorian of information technology and software engineering. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. So first, I would like everyone to sit and imagine that there is a bank account that credits your account each morning with $86,400.
weird number, but I'll, you'll, I'll, you'll know why in a second. It carries over no balance from day to day. Every evening, the bank deletes whatever part of the balance you failed to use during the day. So what would you do? You would spend it every day, each dollar. Each of us has a bank like that. It's called time. Every night, it writes off as lost. Whatever, this, whatever of this, you have failed to invest in a good purpose. It carries over no balance. It allows no overdraft. Each day, it opens a new account for you. Each night, it burns the remains of the day. As graduates, we were given the tools we need, to, we need to succeed. Now we have to learn how to use those tools to use our time wisely, to better the world in everything we do, and to better the lives of the people we come in contact with every day. Never waste a second of our time doing something foolish. Never procrastinate the things that we do and use every minute, every second to its fullest. Now, I know that we all do procrastinate, I, me included, just ask my capstone group. But don't let the distractions get in the way of your mission in life, whatever that might be. Also remember that we couldn't get here alone. There is at least one person out here today that helped us get through the hardships of high school, whether that's your teacher, your parents, or your friends. For me, it's D, all of the above. First, I would like to thank my teachers who tolerated us for 80 minutes a day and sometimes longer, but especially to Mr. Klein, Ms. Medina, Ms. Rivera, Ms. Klingler, and Mr. DeCastro, but most importantly, to Ms. Helk and our school moms. They were always there for us at the snap of our fingers, whatever we needed, even through the sarcasm and sass sometimes. <laughs> They all offered me advice through all of my struggles and were cheering through all of our successes. I want to thank my family. First, my brother for his determination to help me succeed. I want to thank my dad who helped me along the path all the way and especially to my mom, a person that has helped me get to the stage since the very beginning, who's picked me up every time I fall down. However, the person that the people I have to thank the most are my peers with whom we have shared so many memories. I want to thank my capstone group for tolerating me. Thank you. Uh, I want to thank the, my fellow valedictorians and salutatorians, uh, all of NHS, all of the clubs that I've been part of, and everyone in the class of 2018. Thank you. We have shared so many memories together, where, whether it's prom or the Muffin Man memes. <laughs> and I leave you with this. Remember that wherever you go, whatever you do, each day is a new day where you can put the past behind you and make new memories that will change the world. As Ben Franklin once said, the key to success is under your alarm clock. I want to congratulate the class of 2018. Thank you. Thank you, valedictorians. Now I'd like to please welcome Ms. Beth Bernari, who will be presenting the class of 2018. Dr. Aresta Johnson, I would like to present the class of 2018. They have met all graduation requirements as set forth by the Bridgeport Board of Education along with the state of Connecticut. To you, I present the class of 2018. As superintendent of Bridgeport Public Schools, I declare that this class has, made the, has met the Connecticut State Department of Education graduation requirements and the Bridgeport Board of Education graduation requirements and are therefore entitled to receive their diplomas this afternoon. We will now be awarding our graduates with their diplomas. For the sake of time, please hold your applause until the end. I have to say it.
All right, first row, stand on up and come on down. Victoria Bajulich, Chris John, Mariam DeBose, Marie Fries, Kenneth Wright, Angelo Rodriguez, Jennifer Adorno, Emily Albert, hold on, Khadija Amu, Dominic Aneto, Godwin Aneto, Morgan Anderson, Lohana Andrade, Julia Antunes, Gabriella Barg, Anira Barnes, Talisa Barnes, Naima Begum, Alexia Bell, Shakiria Brody, Jacob Brassler, Caleb Brownell, Jasmine Bullen, row two stand up, <laughs> Joey Burns, <laughs> Catherine Craig, Natalie Colon, Cynthia Demora, Alejandra DePaula, Kendall Drake, Darius Ebron Washington, Vin Doe, Jalen Edmonds, Janiel Edmonds, Sabrina Ferreira, Holden Fetchin, Aiden Frumento, Samantha Galbraith, Sarah Gallo, John Gazarowski, Ariana Gomes, Corey Gordon, Brittany Geddes, Shama Gustav, Mary Holmes Small, Sanjita Hossein, Haley Iovino, Ruth Lewis, <laughs> Julie London, Alice Kinsime, Ethan Mann, Isabel Marin, Alyssa Martinez, Derek McCain, Jake McNeil, John Mears, Alec Mera, Eduardo Mena, Samantha Minifi, Joel Manji, Liani Negron, Gloria Ostai, Joseph Patrick, Matthew Romano, <laughs> Natalie Star Paz, Ni nee Pham, Sebastian Prieto, Luis Reyes, Peter Ribbons, Nadine Rivera, Alyssa Rodriguez, Amaya Rodriguez, Elijah Rodriguez, Odette Sandoval, Nicholas Sada, Mariah Seda, Dione Severino, Kayla Shamesh, Sarah Schumard, Shubham Singh, Sunny Sinarai, Isaiah Smith, Jing Kun Suguri, Jada Worthy, Dennis Teixeira, Annie Tran, Caroline Velasquez, Daniel Vetter, Alan Vo, Landuyan Vo, Olivia Wallen, Fredis Abraham, Leandro Aguirre, 
Ashley Armour, Tyreek Barrett, Evan Bouchaman, Matt Bravin, Capra Brown, Dylan Bryan, Jan Camacho, Sebastian Cardona, Savina Cho, Ahmed Chahuri, Noah Clark, Eli Cologne, Shane Connolly, Sean Contreras, Christina Dow, Alexandra Edwards, Fernanda Uletta, Davin Ewart, Myla Acevedo, Sabrina Alvarez, Welder Amaral, Bahar Assad, Rizia Brutus, Jesse Clark, Autumn Cleveland, Carolina Conde, Shanasia Coop, Trinity Corum, Trinity Corum, Celine Cortez, Kiana Dangler, China Davila, Julia DeWalt, Christine Ekagare, Ava Fabian, Louis Fajardo, Chard Felix, Kwamaya Foy, It's okay, I know who you are. Catherine Garcia, Joshua Garcia, Michaela Gibson, Deisha Gillen, Karina Aguilar, Louis Alcantara, Stella Alexander, Nelson Alino, Alex Ayala. Virgiline Baptiste, Tamia Barnes, Maya Barahona, Quentin Bassett, Isaiah Beasley, Jalia Bennett, Kayvon Berry, Gerald Bijou, Karan Blow, Maney Bravo, Tia Brown, Tajane Bullock, Rafael Carrero, George Catchpole, Jordan Chisholm, Terrell Chung, Angelina Claro, Nathan Colon, Angus Froden, Joseph Garcia, Nathaniel Garcia, Kenny Garnett, Giovanni Gomez, Douglas Hinton, William Hoffmiller, Eric Holland, Tristan Hunt, Edric Jeffrey, Jakari Joyner, Martha Camarama, Owen Law, Ruben Lohr, Jaylee Luna, Danny Mai, Hunter Marson, John Mayan, Donald McFarland, Kyle Miller, Lawrence Mills, Alex Mutz, Kenyon North, Wilson Nugra, Josh! <laughs> Leia Guadalupe, Anna Guzman, Angel Hernandez, Nikayla Hines, Alasia Hopkins, Kaysharice Johnson, Rihanna Johnson, Maya Keep, Christina Klopaki, Michael Kunkel Perez, Fabio Lamar. David Latham, 
Messiah Mays, Jennifer Lopez, Adelina Lopez. Wait, I don't know your name. Shane Lyons, Andrea Maldonado, Luis Marquez, Carolise Martinez, Richard Maza, Matthew Miller, Marcos Medeiros, Yazelle Morales, Mark Anthony Colon, Justice De Los Santos, Jaylene De Jesus, Sabrina Escalona Ortiz, Justin Figueroa, Kayla Francois Strickland, Cody Gall, Karen Garcia, Amaya Gill, Nicholas Gleason, Sophronia Griffin, Diamond Hampton, Justice Hines, Khalid Hussein, Ashley Jean Baptiste, Jose Juarez, Curtis Kennedy, Harshal Khatri, Matthew Klopaki, Chad LaRose, Giovanni Lopez, Jimmy Lopez, Jennifer Medella, Angelica Olivares, Juan Palma, Constantine Papadopoulos, Andrew Purveyor, Alexander Peterkin, Luca Petrangeli, Arthur Pinero, Selena Ramirez Soy, Jean Rodriguez, Juan Rodriguez Playboy J. Davey Wavy Woman, Matthew Romans, Julian Sam, Dave Sanchez, Denisha Scott, Ricky Seek, Jason Spool, James Steed, Tamar Stewart, Sasha Tavares, Justin Thompson, Elton Tanaka, Nelius Morgan, Victor Murphy, Tia Murray, Destiny Nieves, Alexander Padro, Angelo Patrizzi, Andre Pasego, Juan Palais, Derek Persan, Matthew Plastini, Haley Rosado, Robert Posta, David Reyes, Cassandra Rubeck, um, Amanda, Rivera. Amanda Rivera, Jacob Ruiz, Brianna Rodriguez, Heaven Ruiz, Destiny Ruiz, Denise Serrata Nunez, Natalie Sinclair, Justin Soto, Courtney Masori. Dorothy Matthew, Will Morzello, Raekwon Mosley, Yanyel Negron Luna, Brianna Altavaro, Chris Peoples, Cameron Fenn, Derek Pontapon, Mista Piercing, Ramon Pons, Ashani Powell, Kyle Ratome, Jonah Richmond, Noah Rogers, Brandon Romero, Thomas Rosenblum, Nathan Roth, Miko Saladores, Melanie Sanchez, Levon Sanders, Shade Scales, Braden Shine, Jose Luis Sierra. David Williams, it's his birthday, y'all! James Zakor. Nathan Straker. Armani Thomas. Clay Whitaker.
Nicole Smith, Xavier Stevens, Malachi Stevens, Miles Summers, Lena Zabo, Mark Thomas, Janai Thomas, Ariana Addison Trueblood, Paul Trujillo, Enrique Ubari, Tiana Thompson, Edgar Valencia, Dianara Villa, Kiana Ward Lloyd, Jermaine Witter, Shakina Israel, Darian Young, Sienna Warren, and last but not least, Victoria Williams. All right, now that we've got everybody with their nice diploma covers, I'd like to welcome up Miss Beth Bernari, who will lead the graduates in the changing of their tassels. So proud of you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, before me, please rise. You are our third graduating class of Fairchild Wheeler Interdistrict Magnet School. Please know that we are so proud of you and wish you a tremendous amount of luck as you embark on your individual endeavors. At this time, we're going to have the changing of the tassel. Please move your tassel from the right to the left where it will hang over your heart as a remembrance of your beloved alma mater and the great memories that you will be taking with you. Families, friends, distinguished guests, help me congratulate the class of 2018. guys calm down we're almost done <laughs> give me my last speech and then you never have to listen to me again <laughs> this day signifies a new beginning for each and every one of you in addition to earning your diploma today you have earned the right to be associated with a very special group of individuals you can now call yourselves alumni of the Fairchild Wheeler campus or as I call it fair alumni this day marks a wonderful milestone not only in your lives but also in the life of our school community as our volume three this year's class has 206 students who took early college and or advanced placement courses and are entering college with some credits already earned some are going in a second semester freshmen, or maybe even a junior. In addition, they have worked hard to earn over $22.5 million in scholarships. I wish you all the best as you start your new chapter. Graduates, as you leave, your teachers will join you for one last time. Please feel free to offer your thanks along the way. Family and friends, please meet your graduates outside of the field. As a reminder, there is another school, so we must process out in a timely manner.
Uh, graduates, if you can meet your teachers to my left, which would be your right, and exit um, at that area where they'll meet you.